I've set up the looper, as you can see, using a film reel on the front and a film reel on the back. Uh, this front belt, if you're going to use a film reel, this front belt really should be removed because you can tell it's not, it's not turning. The film is just sliding over here and we kind of would like it to turn. If you remove the belt, this will turn and the film will stay in that flange and it's nice and secure. The back one, it really doesn't make a difference because it is turning. But if you don't want to remove the front belt, you could use one of the film guides, film rollers, let's call them. And I'll show you how to swap out the front reel for a roller. Take out the reel, stick a roller, make sure it's free to turn. Okay, now we've got a front roller over there. We could do the same thing on the back. Put a film roller in place of the film reel. Now, on the back, we have to be concerned about the film jumping off the roller. It's not going to jump off that film reel, but it might jump off a roller. It's very easy to jump off a roller. Let's say we had some slack over here. For one reason or another, we got lots of slack. We have to hold this. Let there, let this film get taken up and get some tension. And there we go. Now you can see the front one is turning on the shaft. The shaft is stationary, the roller is turning. If you're making any adjustments and you have either the film roller or film reel in the back or in the front, wherever, you have to make sure that when there's loose film in the back that you guide it over that roller. So I'm going to pull out some film from the front. Let's say we're fussing with this for some reason. There would be a lot of extra film. We have to hold this until we have no slack in the front. Then hold it on the back. Hold some tension in there. Not too much tension, it will stop it from turning. We hold some tension and it'll the back loop will get smaller and smaller and we can just guide it. Just guide it into here.